Yeah, that's really the key thing. One of the big differences tonight with all of the rain and the bad weather, a lot of people are thinking that it might not attract some of the activity, some of the violence that we typically see downtown in certain areas when the weather really is nice, like what we had a few weeks ago. But still, there's a concerted effort by many community groups, including Pastor Moe's group, to keep the streets safe. The no beat zone, and that means the whole Detroit starting with right here today. A promise made and promise kept by Detroit activist Pastor Mo, standing on the Greek town corner where gun violence claimed the life of well-known security guard Daryl Strotter earlier this month. Pastor Mo's new no beef zone effort is just one of many responses since bringing together community groups to make a difference and restore a sense of safety. We're coming to pray and to patrol and to let our young people know that you got value that you are welcome here in a peaceful manner. We're coming to uh, put some skilled trade information in their hand to love on them, let them know that you're, that you're not like, out of here, but you can't come down here with any type of violence whatsoever. Greektown was ravaged by at least five shootings that left two people dead and several others hurt during the first warm weather period of the spring. When I was down here in the midst of when all the shootings and killings happened, and it was very very scary. So I just want to be a part of this. Uh, it was hot and the young people just got to feeling themselves and came down. I think people just ran into each other and people were intoxicated. Some people were just out here looking to start trouble. Detroit police announced a massive security upgrade with partnering agencies and officers working undercover. Some Greektown businesses have even considered closing earlier while others want better oversight and regulation of alcohol consumption. Meantime, the Live in Peace group is one of many doing their part amid widespread concerns of city violence spilling into the summer. Yeah, I want to say keep calm. I want to say the police is here with a 12-step program. Uh, activists are here. I see Detroit 300 here already. I know Ceasefire is going to be here. Uh, other activists are here with Pastor Mo and LRP. We definitely here making our claim. We declared no, uh, no beef zone, uh, and, and we are sticking behind that word. And while community groups do their part, Detroit police, as we mentioned, they do have that ramped up security and patrolling plan, which also includes officers that will be undercover watching certain rooftops from above to make sure that everything is cool and fine this summer. Reporting live in downtown Detroit, Dave Kinchin, Fox 2 News. Well, at the very least, Dave, hopefully that extra police presence and people police in plain clothes, and they seem to be everywhere from what you're saying, that that will keep people from creating any trouble down there because Greektown, that area, used to be one of the safest places that people would go to. And, you know, people want to feel safe again. So hopefully this works. Yeah, a lot of people want that. The community, certainly business owners. I mean, some folks we talked to, some business folks were saying that they were closing early or thinking about that. They certainly don't want to do that, especially as it impacts the bottom line. They mm -hmm. want the community to come down. Summer's a big time, so hopefully peace will remain throughout those summer months. All right, we'll see what happens. Dave, thank you.